And welcome back to another edition of Showcase Omaha at Shaker Place. Again, we're on location today and a hump day, no pun intended. We're here at Scattered Joy Acres with Joy herself. And uh, this has been a, an amazing trip for us and, and I'm excited to have Joy that? tell her story. <laughs> as uh, this is Zebediah Zebediah yes. is joining us for the interview so Joy start by telling us kind of where this came from and and uh, the mission behind it all, all right. well Scatter Joy Acres is a 26 acre urban rescue therapy ranch so our animals and our ranch are used to do therapy with seniors veterans at risk youth and disadvantaged individuals so it transpired when I was a young child at the age of nine um, feeling abandonment from my family and those big old cows would wrap their heads around me and show me the unconditional love that animals do for us. So today we have a, uh, this is year 13 of Scattered Joy Acres and we continue to give back to our community by allowing animals to show people that they too can be loved unconditionally. That's, that's great stuff. Tell me some of the things you said you had some, you have students come out here, some of the things that they do when they come out here, what brings them out here, and, and some of the success stories that have happened because of this place. We have uh, kids that are court ordered through the court system. We have um, challenged adults that come out that help learn some job skills, learn anger management, how to work together as a team, as well as corporations that come out and do team building events out here. And all of that comes from volunteers. We are 100% volunteer staff here. We have no paid staff. We had 4,623 volunteers that came here and gave us 30,000 hours of community service last year, which is amazing because people believe in what we are doing here in our community. That's awesome. Tell me a couple of success stories that you that you kind of shared with me earlier of people who have come out here and kind of maybe didn't know where they were going from here and, and, and found some options afterwards. We had a couple young boys who were fighting in a public library and uh, the police officer said, I'm, I'm gonna give you two options. We can either take you to Juvie and book you or you can go spend time at this ranch with this really nice lady. And they're like, well, we'll take the nice ranch, right? <laughs> so when they arrived, I put them in a 20 by 20 pen with two of my horses. And horses will tower over top of you and they couldn't get out, and they didn't like that feeling. And basically, in that time frame, they learned that that's the same effect they were doing to their peers. And it wasn't that kids want a bully, they just want to know that they are wanted and needed and respected. And so those courses taught them that they are great kids, and unfortunately, a lot of our kids are going through struggles and peer pressures and trying to figure out where they fit in in this society that we're in. And these kids now are part of our after-school program at a high school where they're giving back and teaching other kids that bullying is not the right answer. So you said all thousands of volunteers. Um, what are different ways that people can get involved here? Um, volunteering as much as office work to cleaning poop to unloading hay to helping with community events you know we take petting zoos out into the community so people experience we visit at this time 70 senior centers in a month where we take an animal and we let these seniors love and they get exposed to these animals we'll take the camel we'll take a baby goat we'll take a puppy baby kittens everything we've taken the tortoise how many seniors have actually experienced the tortoise <laughs> experience that they get as well as um, mowing. I have a couple that just comes out and they just groom and mow. You know, is there people that can come and plant flowers and keep things moving? Because I have to be in the community and continue to make the stories happen. Make people be aware of what we're doing here and how they can support us. Because we are donor based. There's no grants, there's no, it's just people who believe in what we're doing. Well, I'm happy to be one of the donors this month as they're our nonprofit of the month. I am going to go back to playing with the animals uh, and enjoying myself this morning. Joy, thanks for being on the show and uh, doing the amazing work that you're doing. Thanks for coming out. I hope to see you all at Scattered Joy Acres.